Today's letter is from Dave. Dave, we love when the dudes write us. Dear Girls Leadership, if my daughter had her way, she'd be sitting at home watching YouTube and hanging out with friends in the neighborhood. I've tried to sign her up for after-school activities, but she refuses. She just says she won't be any good at whatever it is and refuses to try anything new. How can I help her? So this is a great question because when girls take positive risks, the horizon of their learning opens up in limitless ways. A lot of girls think that being brave is this big, epic Hollywood moment when you slay the dragon in this really intense, once-in-a-lifetime kind of way. We've got to do it differently with girls. We want them to see bravery as something that is available to them all the time, all around them. We call it micro-bravery, that in small ways we can improve our bravery by practicing brave skills. Because skills are like muscles. The more you flex them, the stronger they get. When girls think about bravery in this way, they don't feel like they just have to naturally know how to do it. They realize it's something they can learn. A big thing that derails girls from being brave is the belief that you have to be amazing the first time you try something. Like you have to nail it on the first try. You've got to do it all at once. And not only does that often set girls up to fail once they try, it makes most of them just want to pull the covers over their head. So let's say a girl wants to make the basketball team. One small goal she could set to take that risk is to practice her foul shot for 20 minutes every other day. Another small goal that she could set is talking to the coach about things she can do to improve her ability before tryouts come around. Now you've got your daughter taking small risks. What should you say to her as a parent? Focus on the process, not the outcome. You know how when your daughter's little and she does something awesome and you go, yay, and it's like a big moment? Well, what if we took all of that yay energy and put it into the process that she was trying before she crossed the finish line? It also really tells them, when we praise the process, that trying something matters just as much as accomplishing it. When we help girls understand that bravery is something you do every day, that it's something that takes practice, suddenly they realize it's within their grasp and incredible things can happen. Do you have more questions for us? Visit us at girlsleadership.org.